okay hi guys um super super excited to have you here once more it's your guy Vito, and as always i'm here to make you work easy work smart and achieve more in the whole buzzing and movement here and there right so solutions that helps keep you at your peak right it's what i'll be bringing your way so um as you saw in the description so for today we'll be working with embedding your chat bots on your chat widgets platforms you have across your website across your uh, phones or wherever you place those chat widgets so the business case scenario is this we have a chat widget uh, if you can check my video on how to create chat widget and your customers could from there reach out to you into dynamic crm so for today what we're doing is want to bring those um you, you want to Im embed a chat bot a pv a power virtual agent on that chat widget such that when your customers go there and they want to support the first thing they encounter is the bot right and the bot gives them answers to some of their questions and if they're not satisfied in any way the bot then transfer them to a live agent this will help to re re reduce your resource on live agents you have stationed to be able to respond to uh, customers and give customers a quick response and the sense of being responded very fast so now to kickstart that first of all uh, as i said always uh, and previously go review my um, video that talked about creating live chats and configuring live chats so that you could see and pick up from where we currently have what we'll be running today so the first step to incorporate your chat bot is to review the bot itself so let's just review the bots we want to um, do so i'll just go to web powerva.microsoft.com just click on uh, on that so that we just review the bots that we want to embed and let's see how it's working before we add that to the widget that we actually Okay, so this is our bot in which we'll be using and has topics. So just a quick test run of the bot. We're using the Omni Power, Omni Channel Power Virtual Agent. So let me just test as a customer and say hello and see the bot's response. So hello, the bot gives me his response. I say stars. So let's say I want to know the star hours, so the operating time. So it says my location let me just select this redmond and it says for redmond hours you run between this and this i could just say did this answer you yes it did then i could just give it its rating so basically this is a run through so now this experience we now want to have it on our chat widget so um just as you saw from the live chats um tra uh, training video so when someone click on the less chat what we want to be interacting with that uh, customer on the first dry run should be this bot right and after the bot is done giving the answers and the answer doesn't sit well with the customer and the customer um requests that they want to transfer to a live agent then this bot should do that same request and transfer them over to a live agent so let me now run us through now embedding this bot on our live chat so i will go here down then we'll go to the admin center as usual so just click on customer service admin center yeah so now we are at the admin center as i said earlier you can go to our video on um, the master piece for live chat creation and you can see how all the workshops everything we'll be using here we are created so i'll go down to work streams and this time it's the live chat work stream so i'll click on live chat now if you go to the bottom right right you see add the bot of the, on this work stream so i'll click on add a bot and now select from the bots i actually want to add with the one we're actually testing was the customer service trial virtual agent bot so i just click on this and click on connect in the subsequent video i'm going to show you how to create a bot, bot from the scratch so as i stated earlier on just Hit the subscribe button like and share so that this uh, video can go to as many much persons to enable them see the power of um, them embedding bots into their live chats for easy customer interaction 
So now we have this bot already stationed here. As usual, we're going to test to see the end to end. So to be able to do that, uh, I have already a customer virtual agent already spinned up here. So let me just close this and go down to home. So this is our agents, right? So let me just drag this to the other screen. So now let's test this. So the first thing is we'll go to W3. So let me just go to W3. Let's close. Click on this. Then go back to our work streams. So we want to test this. So I'll go to our work stream, go to live charts and copy the chart widget. So I'll just copy this. Then go here and click on try it yourself. So now I'll just paste this snippet I copied here and click on run. So with this now, we're going to have our less charts, which is our live chart widget appearing here after it's done running. So let's let it run. All right. So now I have our chart widget here. So we're not going to test it. So just click on less charts. So just enter our predefined expressions as we said. So I'll say Victor Kucher to my email. As usual, said, are you a new customer? No. So I'll hit on submit. All right, so we are in now. I will just say hi. So that's uh, how you you be able to test your configuration you've made. So you could just tell it so um, on your end, and let me know how. You got um, how the interaction was with the bot so you can also check my previous video to see how it interacts and you can bring them so also in the course of your testing also you could have your test agent receive them then with that show the back and forth chat so basically that's the run through on how you can add a bot to your chat widget work stream so that whenever a customer comes to com uh, communicate or to log their complaint they will first interact with the bot and as the bot responds on um, your your bo bot and like if I just say hi and all the stone falls and I just say transfer or oh, let's say talk to an agent and all those it's it could respond and move the person into an agent and all that so you could test all this on the charts um, widgets which um, I showed earlier so as always ensure you subscribe so that you get notification on the next videos i'll be releasing after this one and trust me they're super going to be excited so thank you for your time the intention was to make this very short that's why i'm running through the uh, um the show of the interaction if you have any concern you could just drop it on the comment section let me know um, also when you subscribe so i could keep track and also give thumbs up to those that did so thank you very much for your time and See you in our next session.